Hey there. Welcome to my own creation. Welcome to 5v5. We are going to start out with RPG Battle, which is going to decide who has the best retro RPGs. Our first round will be PS2 versus the Super Nintendo, or SNES, with the winner taking on the PS1 in the fight to end all fights until, well, the next one. First up, we have the rules. All scores are decided from Moby Games. They are accurate as of the time of recording. I have no sway in the scores. I don't change anything. I just call it like it is. Gotta call it straight down the middle like I see it. Yeah. And, well, if there's a tie, that round doesn't count. There are five rounds, hence, you know, 5v5. And, like I said, if there's a tie, that round does not count. Now, it is not the first to three. You know, it's not who wins. If someone happens to pick up the first three rounds, it's not over. Because it comes down to what the final score is. Now, obviously, if someone wins 3-2, they're going to win the whole thing. But, will the other one come back and at least have a showing? Or is it complete demolishment? Complete domination? How does it go down? Well, it's time to find out. First up, we have round one. We have the first battle, and it will begin right now. Ding, ding, ding. First up, we have, for Super Nintendo, we have Super Mario RPG. And for PS2, we have Persona 3 FBS. Now, Super Mario RPG is a turn-based RPG from Nintendo and Square Enix. It is considered one of the best RPGs of all time and was recently remade on the Switch. Now, the original on the Super Nintendo scored an 8.3 out of 10. For Sonic 3 FES is the turning point in the Persona series. It's a re-release of Persona 3 and it added a epilogue called The Answer which is being uh, added in as episode Agus or Agus or however Haggis, I don't know how you say it when you later on this year. It as well scored an 8.3. So round one is a tie. It's off to round two. We have coming in for the Super Nintendo. We have Secret of Mana. Coming in for the PS2. We have Final Fantasy X. Secret of Mana. Was remade on the PS4 as a GameStop exclusive physically. Originally, um, it is available elsewhere, obviously, but that is where it started. I did buy it, and, you know, having not played the original, it was interesting, to say the least. The original, however, is a cult classic loved by millions. This game scored an 8.3 as well. A lot of 8.3s to start us off here. Final Fantasy X, or as a lot of people just... We're calling it Final Fantasy X for the longest time. Is where we have Yuna and Titus, Titus, Mr. Laughing Man. <laughs> yeah, you know the meme. This is considered the last great Final Fantasy by many people, although I'd say they're wrong but it's what people say. 
This, once again, scored an 8.3. So round two, that's a tie. No winner. Double KO. Next up, we have Earthbound, representing for Super Nintendo, and Dragon Quest VIII, representing for the PS2. Now, when it comes to cult classics, Earthbound is the leader in the category. There's no doubt whatsoever Earthbound is at 10 out of 10 when it comes to cult classic. But how did it score? It scored an 8.5. Dragon Quest VIII is the only Dragon Quest that was released on the PS2 in North America. How did it score? Also an 8.5. So once again, we have a tie. Once again, it doesn't matter. Fourth round. Representing for the Super Nintendo, we have Final Fantasy III, also known as Final Fantasy VI outside of the U.S. And for the PS2, we have Final Fantasy XII, regarded by many as one of the greatest Final Fantasy games, although I heavily disagree with that personally. Both games scored an 8.6. So once again, after four rounds, we have no deciding victor of a round. So far in this matchup, we're sitting at 0-0, zero to zero, which means it's going to come down to the final matchup. If we end up having a complete and utter wash, well, I don't know how that's going to flow down because I hadn't thought about that happening. But representing for the Super Nintendo, we have what many consider and myself consider one of the greatest RPGs of all time and the best on the Super Nintendo. Ranking number one in RPGs on Moby Games for the Super Nintendo, we have Chrono Trigger. Ranking number one for the PS2, we have Persona 4. Now, I can say there is a winner. There is a winner in this. Persona 4 scored an 8.6. Chrono Trigger scored an 8.7. One point of a point. One tenth of a point of a victory is still a victory. Chrono Trigger takes it home for the Super Nintendo. And next up, the Super Nintendo will take on the PS1 to find out which one is really the master of RPGs in the retro era. Who is the best for the RPGs? We'll find out in the next one. This has been 5 versus 5. 5v5. Five five. This has been Azure Tony. Today, we found out fun in gaming. And I know you enjoyed yourselves too. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll catch you next time. Peace.